Methods are an efficient way to code. You can break things down into smaller parts that can be reused. Now let's take a look at the main method. We've actually been writing a method in every program that we've written. Every program we've written has a public static void main. That's your main method. It's what's executed by default in the main class. So here I am in my public static void main and I'm calling a function. You call a function with its signature, which is the function name plus anything that needs to be passed to it. In this case, welcome has nothing being passed to it, so there's nothing between the parentheses. Anything between the parentheses would be a parameter that was being passed to the method. This method is very simple. We're just calling it by its name. You'll notice here I have private static void main. Private means that it can only be accessed within the same class. Since I'm in the main class, my main method can call any of my private statements. Void means it's not going to return anything. Welcome is its name. If I had parameters, it would be in here. So welcome simply prints out welcome to methods. And you can see in the results here, welcome to methods is the first thing printed. Then I declare a variable of the type double with the name bill and set it to 220. Then I have double total equals calculate tax and I'm passing bill. This is another way to call a method. This method is going to return something that will be saved into total. So calculate tax is here. And you'll notice that this is private static double, which means it's going to return a double. Calculate tax is the name of the method, and then it's accepting a variable of the type double that locally is called bill amount. So I'm going to return bill amount times 1.07, which is the value of the bill plus a 7% tax. So that returns the logic to the next line. Total out, and it's passing in total. So I've got public, I'm sorry, private static void total out, and it's receiving double total print. Notice that I am making a point to change my variable name so it's less confusing. We're passing a copy of this variable here. It has a different name that's a little clearer. This is not a global variable. It, the total print is only in scope. It's only active inside the total out method. And this is going to have a system out print line. The total is plus total print. So you can see we pass the 220 to this method. We returned that calculated amount of the total plus a tax. And then we use that total to pass it into the total out method, which prints the total is 235.4 on the screen. So these are a few different examples of methods. If you were going to be doing the menu program, you would just call in a switch case statement a different method for or each of the possible cases. So if you want to calculate the area of a triangle, your menu would say 1, calculate triangle, and then you could get user input in that method just the way that you would if you were working in just the main method. So methods are a way to compartmentalize functions and allow you to call them multiple times in some cases, and they can really help clarify the logic of a program.